the group of electromagnetics applied to telecommunications of the Technical University of Cartagena is one of the partners of the European project RFID from FAT4. Within this project, the Technical University of Cartagena is undertaking a pilot in a farm fish company. The fish pilot in Spain has been implemented in a medium-sized company called Culmarex, operating in the area of Aguilas, Murcia. The company is dedicated to the rearing and marketing of sea bream and sea bass. The pilot intends to propose a traceability solution using RFID and wireless sensor networks. The pilot will comprise four different stages. The first one is at the farm, where the fish is grown. The second one is at the processing plant, where the fish is processed. And the third one is related to the logistics. Finally, the consumer stage intends to present traceability information to customers through the internet. The pilot is focused on three main processes that take place in the farm. First, juveniles are received. They are transported to the farm by boat. Then, juveniles are transferred directly through growing cages. The handheld RFID reader is used to identify the cage and to insert the type of fish and lot. Second, transfer to commercial cages. When fish has reached proper size and weight according to commercial needs, it is transferred from growing to commercial cages. Here, the handheld reader is used to identify both cages. The catching of the fish is done collecting only the exact amount required. After harvest, fish is transferred into insulated tanks with seawater and ice until arrival at the processing plant. The handheld reader is used to identify the cage and to insert information of the catching operation. It is also used to identify the tanks that participate in the catching operation in order to trace them during logistics processes. Once all the information of the processes is collected, it is stored in an EPCIS repository. An RFID data logger is inserted into the tank to monitor the temperature during transportation. When the tanks arrive at the dock, they are loaded into refrigerated trucks that transport them from each growing farm to the processing plant. The fish is received in the processing plant, the tanks are unloaded and with the handheld reader the tag of the truck is read. With the handheld reader, the tag of each tank is read and allocated to the truck. By reading the tag of each tank as they are unloaded, the received process is registered and checked. The processing segment will start with the arrival of fish from the farm in sealed tanks. To perform the required collection of information, a fixed RFID portal will generate the corresponding events when a new tank of fish is entered at the plant. The processing machine automates part of the production of boxes of fish sorted by weight and type. There are operators that put sorted fish into boxes and attach a label on each one. For the pilot, a new RFID label has been designed and attached on each box. Once the label is attached to the box, a fixed RFID portal will be used at the conveyor belt to detect and read new boxes in an automatic way. To do this, the new label is also written with an EPC code into the RFID tag. A challenge is to automate the readings of the fish boxes once they are ready so that they can pass the stock for selling immediately. The idea is to transition from the currently used labeling system, which is only internal and does not comply with any standards, to a compatible and open white system. The last step in the processing pilot is a system that monitors the temperature and humidity conditions at the processing plant and warehouses. Shipment of goods to clients The operators in the warehouse take fish boxes according to purchase orders and put them in a pallet to completion. The pallet passes through an RFID portal that reads all the boxes within the pallet and controls if the number and type of boxes match with the order. One of the objectives of the project is to show the traceability information of the fish to the end consumers to increase their confidence and assure the quality. Customers can access the pilot webpage by using mobile or smartphones, barcode scanners, or finally an RFID reader or NFC phone. With the system proposed in the F2F project, the information is on the web and it is collected from every partner involved in the supply chain. The web page has six modules of information which are defined by the pilot site. It includes the description of the product with photos, nutritional composition, expiry date, a Google map with key locations along the supply chain, a cold chain graph and a diagram of the processes involved 
in the supply chain from Kachin to the retail. Current and customized business processes are widely improved by introduction of an automatic information flow and RFID helps to undertake it. The pilot has demonstrated that the efficiency is improved. Some of these improvements are replacement of paper documentation, reduction of staff work and reduction of errors. Besides, the information of the supply chain is collected automatically and the goods are detected by RFID with no human intervention. The food traceability is more reliable and the information is available in real time by web interfaces. Finally, all these improvements have turned into a competitive advantage for a company that can present better services and products to its customers.